Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 37th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out the for loop. And uh, the for loop is the second looping construct uh, that we're going to check out in this course. The first one, the while loop we've seen in the previous tutorial. And uh, the third one, the do while loop we're going to check out in maybe the next tutorial. So uh, as you can see using code blocks I have saved a file, I've given it the name 4.c. On line one in this file, I have my header file. On line two, I have the main function. Lines three and four, I have my curly braces. And between the braces, we're gonna type in the code uh, that we need for the program. Now, for uh, is not really a direct alternative to while. They both have, uh, you know, their own, uh, you know, areas of application. So you would want to use while loop uh, in cases when you're not sure in advance how many times you're going to execute the body of the while loop uh, whereas you would use for loop in cases when you are sure uh, you know uh, to a great extent how many times you're going to execute the body of the for loop so the syntax of for loop is pretty simple uh, to understand and uh, you know for the sake of uh, understanding the difference between the for and the while loop you know particularly the difference in the syntax and how basically these loops work uh, I'm going to do the same thing as we did for the previous tutorial that is we are going to have a, a variable in the program we're going to give it a value and then we're going to print its value from 0 to 9 on different lines on the screen right so understandably I would have to declare the variable first and um, I'll give it the name a and uh, I'm going to declare an integer variable as you can see I've typed in the keyword int and uh, I'll give it the value zero. Now this is not important. You don't have to give the value here. And I guess I would give it inside the uh, parentheses for the for statement. And um, what I mean is for allows you to do this. Instead of giving your looping variable or your control variable uh, a value, you know, before the loop begins, you can do that in the for statement, right? So the first step in for is the initialization step where you give your looping variable or your control variable value. So, you know, I can give A the value zero here and then I'll have to put in a semicolon because uh, that is a part of the syntax. You, you basically have three components, you know, for your for statement. The first component is the initialization uh, part where you give your control variable some value. The next part is the test condition part. So the test condition for this uh, you know loop is also going to be a less than 10 because we want the loop to function uh, 10 times right so 0 to 10 um, there are nine num sorry there are 10 numbers in between and uh, the loop would work 10 times and also you have your uh, updation step or the increment or decrement step uh, as a component of the for statement as well right so instead of doing that in the body of the for loop just as we did for while we're going to do it within the parentheses right here so you know, you can either type in A equals A plus one, or you can use the shorthand notation A plus plus. And I don't think I've discussed the postfix and prefix uh, increment and decrement operators with you guys, but you know, this is a way of uh, saying, change the value of A by one, right? And uh, since we're using the plus plus operator here, it means that increase the value of A by one. If I would have used the minus minus operator here, then that would have meant uh, decrease the value of A by one. So anyway, after the parentheses, you're going to put in a pair of uh, curly braces. I'm sorry, what am I doing? And between these curly braces, you're going to have in the code for your for loop. So we're going to have just one printf statement, which is going to be executed 10 times. And uh, we're going to display the same thing here. So A is and a colon and then the percentage D format specified because A is an integer. And uh, let's also put in a new line escape sequence here so that we get uh, the result of each individual iteration on uh, new line, right? So after the second double quotation mark, I'll put in a comma symbol and after the comma symbol, I'll type in the name of my variable A. I'll uh, put a semicolon to terminate this and uh, notice that you don't have to put in any more statement within the body of for to you know, make changes to your control variable because you've already done that within the parentheses for the for statement. So when I click on build and run, you see that in the output window, I get, I get the same result as I got for while, right? So you get a is zero, a is one, a is two, a is three, so on and so forth, up to a is nine. So this is all I wanted to 
say about the for loop and uh, you know my goal for this tutorial was to familiarize you guys with the syntax of for and uh, you know also to get across the basic difference between the for loop and the while loop and uh, it's pretty much in the syntax only and you know, I don't think there's anything uh, in particular that you can do with just while loop and no other loop. Uh, you know, there are certain things that you can do with just the do while loop and not with the while and the for loop, but you know, you can't really uh, have that kind of distinction between for and while. So it's, it's uh, you know, some people prefer using for more than while and I'm one of those guys, uh, you know, uh, I prefer using while more than any other loop because uh, you know I've just grown up using while so you know I prefer using it but anyway you can uh, try experimenting with the for loop and there are a lot of co cool things that you can do with it and we're going to check out more applications of it in this uh, course but uh, for the time being uh, this is all I wanted to share with you so thank you so much for watching this tutorial I'll see you guys in the next one which we'll discuss something interesting again for sure so uh, stay tuned for updates and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and I'll see you soon.